Hey, I'm Kerry Bringle. I'm the owner of Peg Leg Porker Barbecue in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm a pit master. I've been cooking barbecue for 35 years, and so uh, that means that I've cooked a lot of meat and uh, burned a lot of wood and used a lot of smoke. Today I'm trying out these uh, seven, looks like, uh, barbecue potato chips. We're going to have a taste test and see which one we think meets the uh, Pitmaster challenge for barbecue potato chips. You know, looking around, it looks like we've got some normal potato chips. We've got some that look like they might be made with, I think that one's like popcorn. This is a cassava strips. I don't, is that a potato chip or is that something else? I don't, these are Pringles. These is, that's gonna be a tough one to beat. We'll start down here with the kettle. A lot of crunch, good flavor. You gotta have a solid chip first and then Next would be the seasoning. How is it? How is it seasoned? You got to watch it with these kettle chips. You get to eating them too fast, and it's just going to be like just shards in your top of your roof of your mouth, and you won't be able to eat anything for the next 24 hours. The kettle was good. The kettle was good. The organic. Let's see. Mm. Lighter crunch on the chip, but that's a good thing. Not too heavy. It's not. I'm not having to break it up too much. I like that one, but it's a lot lighter on the seasoning. So the Pringle is a, uh, that's an engineered chip. So this is potatoes that have been mashed up and then constituted and then made the, into the Pringle chip so you can do the duck lip. Oh uh, crap. Uh. If, you did, if you didn't do that as a child, then you didn't, you hadn't eaten enough potato chips. It's a nice light chip with a good crunch, but it's, it doesn't have a ton of seasoning on it. It's a, it's a good flavor, but it's, it's not much of it. This is the kettle style with the avocado oil. I love avocados, but you know, they're expensive, and I'm sure avocado oil is a, is a fortune. Is this the most expensive chip up here? I bet it is. Whoop. So it's kettle style. It's good. Again, don't eat them too fast. It has a little different flavor. So that avocado oil makes it taste not quite like a potato chip. Maybe that's a healthier alternative or something. I mean, look, I'll eat anything mostly if I'm hungry, but I don't know that I'd seek that out right there. Maybe you crunch it up and put it on a taco or something. This one's funny. That's not a potato chip. That is a popcorn puff or something. Was this a rice cake? Energy packed protein crisp. So that is not a potato chip. Flex. Flex. It sounds like an exercise routine or something. Is that? Mm. The flavor's good. The texture is, is different because it's popcorn-y. It's a little bit more dry. You're probably gonna need a, some cold beers or some water to get these down. Uh, some of these are a little heavier on the salt. This one is a little more on the sweet side. It's good, but you definitely get that rice cake finish. I bet you could insulate a wall with that. I, I guarantee it. <laughs> it's not bad though. I mean, I'm on my third. So, cassava strips. What the f is that? Is that, a diff is that not a potato? Vegan, certified gluten-free. Well, potatoes don't have gluten in them anyway, do they? Do people know what gluten actually is? Oh, a cassava is a grain-free and has low glycemic index. I still don't know what the hell a cassava is. Mm. Crunchy. Mmm. I don't know about that. The flavor's not bad, but the consist the chip, it's like, it's almost like you, a thin slice plantain chip or something. Probably make a boat with that or something if you try it out. <laughs> like birch bark. This right here, straight up Lay's barbecue flavor. How'd you find a plain Lay's these days? You know, they're, they're making all these biscuits and gravy and everything. Um, regular potato chip. That's good. That's a good barbecue chip. It's a plain ass potato chip with some good seasoning on it. 
It's not that kettle, it doesn't, it's not cutting my mouth. So I would say that Lay's has the win with kettle as a close runner up. Variety is the spice of life. I guess it's a <laughs> different chips for different strokes, right? I, mean, I wouldn't eat some of these, but somebody else might like them, maybe a vegan or something. I'm Kerry Bringle. Uh, from the Peg Leg Porker, and I'm signing off from the Food and Wine Studios with our classic barbecue chip review. Eat more chips, whichever style floats your boat. <laughs> <laughs>